Hello there, anyone had a super busy week and could use a weekend away? There are a couple of travel makeup bag videos on my channel already, but makeup bag packing is most enjoyable for me for very short trips. I like to challenge myself to take as few products as possible. Whether you're planning a summer getaway or a wintry weekend, if you're into minimal makeup and multitaskers like me, this might give you some inspiration on how to slim down the packing process. Definitely not a definitive guide, just the way I like to do it. I often leave out a few steps and really go for multitasking items that can be used in at least a couple of of ways, as well as reaching for travel minis to save space and weight. I love my monogrammed makeup bags from the Aussie brand The Daily Edited that often pop up in my videos, but I reach for a good old Glossier pink pouch for any short trip. It's lightweight, super slim so it can fit neatly in your bag, you can see the products inside, and the bubble wrap does protect them a bit. Depending on how much you pack, you can even fold it over to create more padding. Here are the elements I like to include. No eyeshadow palettes the size of a studio apartment, just thin stick products, that's my preference. A brightening concealer that can double as a highlighter or all over skin enhancer, a trusty spot concealer, a brow gel, a cream blush stick that can go four ways as a blush, bronzer, cream shadow and lip color, a travel mini mascara, and a sheer lip colour, so you can vary the intensity and make it look slightly different each time. Let's start at the top with the concealers I take. YSL Touche Clar is a classic multitasker to brighten under the eyes, correct redness, highlight the high points of the face, and even even out your skin tone wherever you need it. So I've skipped packing any tinted moisturiser this trip. The texture is very light and creamy, it's very similar to and only slightly thicker than the Chanel Eclat Lumiere pen I love as well. It'll come as no surprise to regular viewers that Clé de Peau is my concealer of choice. Can't go past it. It's so creamy with excellent coverage, but it never fails to look like skin. And that's always what I'm going for with spot concealing, so you don't draw any attention to those areas. Brow Gel Time and Glossier Boy Brow has been my go-to for years. It's teeny tiny, which is a bonus for travel. I can skip eyebrow pencil too because it's quite pigmented on its own. Mine's nearly run out definitely time for a new one, but it's a great creamy pomade that holds your brows in place perfectly without feeling like they're stuck to your face. On to my favourite part, blush sticks. You know I love cream blush, but blush sticks are particularly appealing because you can swipe them straight onto the skin and they look like skin. Love these shades on the eyes too, so I'm going to skip packing any shadow. For this trip, I was choosing between these two. Nude Stick Sunkissed has been a recent favourite. Although it's sold as a bronzer, it's quite a rosy brown, so I love it as a blush, worn high on the cheekbones to imitate a real sunkissed look. It's also a beautiful terracotta colour smudged onto the eyes for an easy smoky look. Certainly quite pigmented and a little more matte than the other cream blushes I go for, but it blends well if you've got a nicely hydrated base with your moisturiser and SPF. My other choice was an Ilia Multi Stick, one of my favourite blush formulas for its sheer dewy finish. The shade Ladybird is a fairly new launch for them, a lovely rosy neutral that you can leave as a light wash or really build it up. Another one that looks lovely patted onto the eyes or even lips, so I'll take this. Enter the Travel Mini Mascara. So many brands make travel minis or at least a sample size, so you'll often be able to find your favourite. I enjoy By Terry's Terribly Mascara and love that there's usually no compromise with travel minis and you get the full sized brush. Lots of volume and length with this one but it's still natural and fluttery. Certainly a big sheer lipstick fan, they're easy to apply, laid back and hopefully suit the relaxed vibe of your weekend away. I'm narrowing it down from these three. Olio e Osso is a brand I'm always banging on about because these little natural balms are beautifully sheer and dewy on the cheeks and lips. Number 10 T Rose is a soft brownie rose tone. I think I'm particularly drawn to this sort of brownie rose colour family in summer because it's kind of halfway between being flushed and tanned. Clinique Black Honey was a big hit with viewers when it appeared in my recent sheer lipsticks video. Such a nice light barely there texture and a beautiful muted blackberry colour to just darken your lips. Chanel Rouge Coco Flash was a new launch this year to replace their old Rouge Coco Shine formula. They're a great sheer wash of colour with quite a bit of pigment and a super light balmy finish. Attitude is a shade I've been enjoying, a bright berry red that you can just swipe on for a very light tint or really layer and it will become quite intense. Gosh, that's a great colour. I'm going to bring this one with me. Time to go. Pretty happy with that. Six items for a natural makeup look with some multitasking bits in there to help mix it up. I'd love to hear how you pack for a weekend away. What are the pieces you have to bring with you? And let me know if you'd like to see a weekend skincare bag video too. Please share if you have any travels coming up. Summer makeup content coming soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.